I'm in the airport today on my way across country and all around me people are coming and going and scurrying and moving this way and that. And it's like the whole world is in movement. In a seating area a few moments ago I was sitting with four United Airlines employees and they were talking about all the places they get to go and fly and see and do and in the middle of it one of the employees, a person, looked with pleading eyes and he said, I just want a life that works. And so we wondered what would it take to have a life that works and and we actually walked the streets of St. Augustine asking that very same question. What does a life that works look like? I've never thought of that question. Independent and not to have to rely on others. Like to do stuff with friends, have a family, get married someday. Being content with what we have. Being a father to my family. How about traveling in an RV around the country? This is it right here. This does it for me. I'm in St. Augustine on vacation. What could be better? <laughs> Courage. Open communication. Non-selfish people. I like that. Selfless. Mm -hmm. That would... I think that that's what I feel like take. negativity. Like, just gone. Christ. Open Christ. Yes. Smile. Okay. <laughs> I every once in a while give somebody a hug. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> Hello, I'm Father Ken Herzog at Trinity Episcopal Parish in downtown St. Augustine, Florida. So we're asking this question, what would it take for you to lead the life that you've always wanted to lead? Now that's an interesting question, isn't it? Well, we are going to try to answer that. Come on in.